Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. My name is Namalina and today I am finally reviewing the headband wig. Um, you guys have been seeing it all over Instagram, all over social media, all over YouTube. But I didn't want to review it because first of all, I am forever in colored hair and you also need edges for the headband wig. Apparently you need edges, okay? So I have very colorful hair. So even though I do have a full healthy hairline, it's very difficult for me to do like I would think the headband wig because my hair is colorful and you know the headband wig is not going to match the color of my hair. And then secondly, like my hair is so short guys, like I have a twa, a teeny weeny afro. So it's essentially like I don't have hair so I can't necessarily leave my edges out. And for the longest time I just felt like I can't review it, it looks exciting, it looks great but i don't have any hair to leave out for the headband wig so when ali queen contacted me i was like you know what let's give it a shot let's see what we can do and also i couldn't find any videos on youtube just saying can somebody who's basically bold who doesn't have hair who has hair and it's colored and it is you know 4c hair like literal 4c hair can they wear the headband wig yeah so i'm making the video you know i'm going to fill in the gap so today's hair is from ali queen hair they were kind enough to sponsor today's video so shout out to them i am super excited because they were able to send over a kinky curly headband wig um i'm very excited about this i wanted a kinky curly one just to see if it would look more natural particularly because green hair short hair like you guys have heard the struggles and i thought like a kinky curly would look better okay it would look more like my hair which is 4c hair so they sent over a 22 inch and it comes with the stuffing inside now i will tell you guys i have already worn this and i wore this to the gym the reason i wore it to the gym was i really wanted to see would i be able to do like activities in it particularly because i don't have anything for my hair to grab for the wig to grab onto so this is what it looks like and guys every single time i watched a youtube video i couldn't quite grasp like what this headband wig thing is um, I just like I didn't get it. I got it like I understood okay It's like a half wig, but I didn't really get it And I think when you purchase one that's when you really get it So the inside of the wig is a normal wig cap an adjustable wig cap so you have um, your strap here on the side and Then here at the back you're able to actually insert your strap inside here or you can put it um, into each other so you can actually place them into each other like this which is how I like to wear it okay and then it has a comb at the back and it has these combs here in the front so it has one here on the side one in the middle and one on the other side as well and I remember just thinking like I don't have anything for the combs to go into so will this even work like guys will this seriously work so this is the edge of where their hair ends then you have this headband here now one thing i didn't get from the um from the reviews i've watched of headband wigs is just how much you have the freedom to size this so you can fold it down you can fold it even more and have it like literally be so tiny that it's borderline not non-existent or you can have it full out like that uh, which is something I didn't really understand. It also has a Velcro strap here at the back, which means it fits really nicely. So when I was going to the gym, this is how I wore it. I used two wig caps. Um, even though you don't need to wear a wig cap, I just like to wear a wig cap um, whenever I am wearing wigs. So I used two wig caps. You can use a black wig cap. It really does not matter what color the wig cap is, but you also don't need it, okay? But this is how I wore it when I was going to gym. And the reason I use a wig cap is just to give the wig a little bit more grip. It'll sit a little bit better because I really wanted it to have good grip. Then I have my headband wig and this is what it looks like. Kinky curly texture in the inches, 22 inches. So this is the front part and then all of this that you see here is the sides and the back. Okay, so I'm going to place it on top. I've got my adjustable strap inserted like that. And I'm literally just going to place it on top of my head. So you guys can see this is where the headband is, right? 
this is where it literally ends this one is actually uh, a really good size um, because it's nearly on your hairline so you don't really need um, to push it forward you can literally wear it with as much hair out as you want or as little hair out as you want okay so for the back i've got my adjustable strap in and then i'm placing the comb at the back when i fold it like this so you guys can see so for the back i've got my adjustable strap in there it is that into each other then i'm taking there it is that into each other then i'm taking my comb here which is at the back and i'm placing it underneath just like that then i'm pulling it down you can even take the comb and put it under that wig cap that you have on okay so now i've got my two straps here and i'm literally just going to take them like this i'm going to leave it flat on my forehead like this and then I'm going to move it right here. You can see that. See right there. Move it to the back. And I've got my Velcro. I'm going to push. I'm going to pull this as much as possible. Then this one on. And it's literally going to hold on like that. Okay. So now I've got my headband wig on now you guys can see this looks very unnatural so what I did when I went to gym is I pushed it in half like that just like that and then I got one of my bandanas and um, this unfortunately didn't come with any um, headband it did come with extra combs inside if you want to use the extra combs and then it came with some thread as well and it came with another headband if you feel like you want to replace the one that's here you want to put in another one it came with another one here so this is very very handy um if this headband gets old and you want to change it out they give you literally everything you need the thread the needle um, they give you combs and they also give you another headband but this is not like the fashion headbands it's the actual thing that's attached to the wig um, so if you want to use that you're able to actually use that so this is my bandana my gym bandana now guys when i go to gym regardless i have to wear something on my head because i don't like standing out at the gym i don't like like I don't like standing out most of the time my hair is colored so I don't like walking around the gym with green hair or pink hair or yellow hair which is like the colors my hair normally is um, so yeah normally I wear a bandana but since I now have the headband wig this is how I wear it to gym so I use my bandana fold it in half just like that okay we've got it in half and then I fold this again I'll fold it forward so you guys can see like that right and then I use this side as, as the top outside layer that people are seeing and then this side where it's folded will be on my head so this is how I apply it the side that's folded I put it right on top like that behind my ears like it just follows right there And this is literally how I go to gym. The hair never falls into my face. It is lightweight, it is quick, it is easy. In five minutes, I've literally got my wig on and I'm ready to go to gym. The one thing I thought about, apart from the safety, which I sorted out with the comb at the back and the adjustable strap, the one thing that was worrying me was the amount of sweat. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to be sweating like crazy. But surprise, surprise, it really wasn't bad at all. I was barely sweating up here. It's like the sweat was all here, but none of it was in here. And there was never a point while I was at the gym where I felt like this is going to fall off or anything of the sort. I never felt that way. So it was very comfortable. Um, I think they made it so good. It is comfortable. It fits well. And if somebody like myself is able to wear it, somebody with colored hair, which means I definitely can't have any of my edges out because that's not going to look natural. Green edges with like black curly hair does not make any sense. Um, if I'm able to wear this to gym with my green natural 4C toi, like teeny weeny afro, like no hair, 
this this is amazing this also tells me that if you have cancer and you can't afford a lace frontal um a hd lace wig this could really be a nice option something quick something fast something simple something fun something simple something fun remember with the bandana here you can make it shorter obviously it would be the other way around but you could literally make it shorter if you wanted to instead of wearing it this way the way i'm wearing it like the possibilities are endless but um before we go i actually wanted to show you guys how i would wear this if i wanted to style this out to go somewhere and not just for the gym so i want to show you guys how i'm going to do it to tie up the hair remember i've already just applied it the same way that i applied going to gym so nothing changes with my application this is just how i'm going to style it just very loosely keeping it out of the way then i am putting on my headband so for this you would need the headband to be short so this black headband here you would need to fold it like that so like this thin as possible then i'm just going to wear my headband the way i want to wear it on top of the black one and i'm going to spread it out a bit this is one of those headbands that cross in the front and that is what it looks like so this hair is 22 inches long it is super super soft you're going to need um, a really good conditioner for this type of hair because the curls are so tight to keep them looking bouncy fresh and super cute you're going to need a good conditioner if you ever feel like the hair is getting a bit too poofy you can use a curling mousse or you can use like some conditioner and water and literally just spray it through the hair comb it with a detangling brush starting from the tips going up in terms of washing the headband wig and everything you wash it the same way you wash your wigs make sure that you keep the headpan part clean because it will have some makeup if you're wearing it like i do um, and it will have some sweat if you're wearing it like i do to the gym so you want to make sure that it's clean and then you would literally just take it and i like to hang it on my washing line so i wash it out use the headband part and i clip it um, on my washing line and let it air dry that way just to make sure that everything is nice and dry but yeah it's really it's such a convenient um style such a convenient type of wig i feel like everybody needs to have at least one or two of these i would love to have a nice sleek long one and then also a very long one like a 26 20 inch 30 inch in like a wavy like a water wave style i think that would be amazing so ali queen does have a straight one if you guys are interested in a straight one but if you do not have hair like myself you can definitely still rock this you can still look super cute in this and it can still look quite natural even without the lace part you don't need the lace part i literally have green hair so if i can wear this uh, you can definitely wear it as well so a big shout out to ali queen you guys can check them out on instagram and they also have um videos on youtube you guys can check other people's reviews as well i think you guys will enjoy seeing what other people have to say about this but with this texture it's beautiful it's beautiful and it doesn't get hot that's the one thing that really surprised me it doesn't get hot yet it's so full it's so flirty and it's just it's stunning i absolutely love it so guys please check the description box i will have all the information there for you guys i haven't seen any other company that actually gives you an extra headband which is very important because by the time you keep stretching it stretching it every day um, and washing it out particularly if you're like someone like myself you're going to gym in it every day you want to wash it every single day when you come back so that the hair doesn't build up some kind of funny smell um, i can imagine that the headband is going to get quite tired so it is really really smart of them to actually give you a whole extra headband that you could put in place and remove the old one and put in a new one i think that's that's just brilliant i think that's really just brilliant thank you guys so much for watching um please check the description box please subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye uh.